Why was I singing that? You'll find out at the end of the video. Today we're going to learn some English vocabulary related to the New Year tradition in the UK. Hopefully you'll learn some interesting words. I'll also tell you why I'm wearing this ridiculous hat. So how is it going to work? Well, it's going to be a quiz. I'm going to describe the words to you. You're going to try and guess them and then I'm going to write them down on here and off we go, just like that. So first of all, what do we call in English the last day of the year and the first day of the year? So the last day of December and the first day of January. I want you to try and guess. I'll write it down. Right. New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So New Year's Eve is the last day of the year and New Year's Day is the first day of the year. And quite often on this last day we have a party. We have a New Year's Eve party, just like that. Okay. Next word, what do we call the promise we make to ourselves or others at the end of the year saying that, oh, you know, I'm going to learn English or some dream or promise. How do we call that? Resolution. New Year's Resolution. So this is really, really common tradition. Everyone has a, a New Year's Resolution. Not many people manage to keep their New Year's Resolution, but that's just how it goes. Okay, next word. What do you call the big explosions in the sky at 12 o'clock? Midnight. How do we call those? Yeah. Fireworks. Fireworks. We have these, you know, throughout the year for different celebrations, but we always have them for 12 o'clock of the new year. Perfect. Okay, moving on, um, as we approach midnight, what do we do? We go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Happy New Year! How do we call this when we... like that? Countdown. New Year countdown, exactly. So this is really common and it's really dramatic and everybody's shouting and you really know that New Year is coming when you have the countdown. Okay, and then at midnight what do people tend to do? What do people drink? I think this is quite an easy one. Champagne, yeah. I guess this is quite an international one. Uh, certainly here in the Czech Republic, they do this as well. And yeah, it's, it's good. Okay. The last word is coming up, or words in this case. But first of all, let me tell you why I'm wearing this. This is actually nothing to do with New Year. It's a traditional Christmas hat. It's, uh, if you can see here, I'm not sure if you see well, there are reindeer on it. And 
This is just to get us in the happy, festive mood. You also quite often get jumpers, which are in the same way decorated and so on. So, last question, really difficult. What is the song people in Britain sing at New Year? A clue, it's difficult to spell. For old Lang Zine. Note the weird Zine, which has a kind of Z sound at the beginning. For old Lang Zine. We love to sing this song so much, we get our arms together like this, with one person either side, and we go and sing. So let me try it. If I get it wrong, that's just how it goes. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and the days of old Lang Syne? For old Lang Syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne! And so on. So, this is such a popular song, it's actually Scottish, and it means long, long ago. It's all about keeping, you know, your friends from long ago, so it's a really nice message. And it's a great song, so I would definitely check that out. Perfect! Well, I'm really looking forward to making more English vocabulary videos with quizzes and so on, about especially things relating to British culture. So if you're really curious about how it works in Britain, about something, and you want to know more about it, write down below and I would be really pleased to hear from you. Have a great new year whenever you're watching this, even if it's in September. Remember, if you want it to be, every day is the new year.